Hello guys and this is the 20th tutorial of the series and today I'm going to be going over packaging your game ready for distribution and changing a few things around to customize your uh, game so it looks like it's done by you rather than UDK uh, Epic Games so to start off I'm going to go ahead and open up the UDK game which it already comes with uh, UDK just to showcase what it can do so open up from the Emerald Development folder, and you'll see you have your test screen, uh, test game spe special splash screen. I just put that in there just as a just to mess around, test with it, just before actually recording, so I can show you. You'll have like the UDK logo on there. All the at the moment, I should have to change that. And then you'll have load another loading screen, and you'll have a menu. Uh, so basically all this menu is is like a a map with the open GFX movie node in Kismet which auto automatically opens that on uh, player level uh, level loaded. So I'm just gonna go ahead instant action and you'll have the maps here. And the maps be uh, you'll be able to choose from uh, from your content fold uh, content folder and maps in the UDK directory. So I just go to my computer, just drive C, UDK game. Uh, choose the version you're using, content, maps, and it'll show maps in this folder. In any subfolders as well, it will show them. So with it selected, you can just go straight in, and you'll get yet another loading screen. The loading times will be pretty much instant, as UDK is a very powerful piece of software. <laughs> and you can go in, and it'll do whatever you've set your level to do. It's just a very basic level. So with that done, I'm just going to show you how to uh, change your splash screen. I'm not going to show you how to change your loading screens. I'll leave that to the Advanced UDK ser uh, series, just to save time. So to change your splash screen, you just want to go to UDK, um, the version you're using. I'm using the November version, UDK game. And then in there, you'll have a bunch of folders. Here's where you'll have your movies, so your logo, which is the very first one, and your front end loading. You won't need to worry about those for now, but just at the moment, you want to go to your splash screen, a splash folder. You'll have two folders: one which is Mac, which will have the Mac um, logo for UDK, and then you'll have your PC, and you'll have that. So all you got to do to change that is just write something on that, I'm just going to put in tutorial and we'll make sure it's in white so you can actually see it center it up, align it nicely ok, I'm going to save changes to that make sure it's done, let's put that and let's put it there you won't need to worry about edits to splash, no one will see that. That'll just be the uh, splash screen when you actually try to open up your Unreal Editor. So if I just go open up the UDK game again, and straight away you should see the changes to your splash screen. So once you've done that, you're going to need to uh, package your game and put all your maps that you've made in there. So I'm just going to wait for the game to load up quickly so I can close it once you've done that just go to all programs Unreal Development Kit version you're using tools I'm going to open up the piece of software called Unreal Front End Frontend sorry press yes just to accept the UAC and you'll be confronted with a very simple looking piece of software so to package your game first of all you're going to want to make a profile so I'm just going to clone this DM deck one here I'm going to rename it to test game and then you're going to want to change the platform that your game goes on to if you're not going straight on uh, PC there's iPhone, Mac OS X or PC so you, also if you have the licensed version you'll have Android in here as well so you can ch choose that but I'm just going to go ahead and put, uh, put it on PC so I'm using a PC at the moment so with that in mind I'm just going to remove the DM deck level because I didn't make that I'm going to put in any level that I've made already DM, te uh, DM test 
add selected maps and you're probably thinking that's about it it's not so over here you'll have your override default this is where you choose the map that it starts up at the very start of the game after the loading screen if you haven't already made a map which has uh, a map which has like a menu that you made in Adobe Flash Professional with level spawn, uh, level loaded, and then an open GFX movie with a SWF file imported into there. You should just leave it as default, and it'll use the front end menu. And then once you've done that, uh, you're gonna want to press start over here. And that basically, what that will do is it will recompile the scripts, it will build them, and then it will cook the packages that you put into UDK, which will be all your assets. So let's say you made something in 3ds Max, that will be your Actor Asset, Actor X imports, and uh, character models, or Pascal systems, whatever you want to put in there, even Unreal script. And then it'll just launch the game straight after that. And here we go. So I'm just going to give it a second to load here quickly. I know the uh, text isn't quite aligned there. I should barely sort that out, but no one's going to see that. So if I go to instant action, go to maps, and you'll only see the test map in here now. So once you've done that, you're going to want to package your game. Uh, put it into installer basically so other people can use it, you can distribute it, you can sell your game, you can give it to your friends, your mum, your dad, your family, whatever. And uh, so to do that, just press package game up here, then press package game. Then you'll get a little dialog box which will ask you for some info. So I'm just gonna put in a name here, so tutorial, no, I'm just gonna put test game. Uh, tutorial get test game. Sorry. Tut test game. Tut test game. There we go. And then I'm just gonna press package game. And then shortly after you've done that, it will start compiling. Uh, I mean, compressing your files and putting it into an installer. And to, the installer will be placed in the UDK directory. So you just go to UDK. Go to the version you're uh, using at the moment, UDK 2011. Yep, and you'll see this .NET zip folder here, uh, file here, which is a temporary file, just because it's still uh, messing around, well, changing the installer. Once it's finished compressing and it, uh, building, uh, packaging your game, you'll see an installer in there. You can change the name of that however you want. It won't be .NET zip and then whatever it is under here the code next to it it won't look anything like that it'll even have a custom UDK icon so I'm just gonna give this a second to finish compressing the files Okay, once it's done that, as you see it's done for me, it will start packaging the files. It will start making a zip file. So if you go over there, you'll see a zip file. The zip file won't be there once it's finished packaging it completely. It will just go into the installer, because that's what the installer is, basically extracts the files and puts them to and places them at a chosen directory. As you'll see here, you've now got your installer. So let's just say, uh, for, I'm just going to test it out. So if you open it up, you'll be, you'll even ask, be asked for terms and conditions and whatnot. You'll have your loading screen here. I will show you how to make your own uh, custom installers in Visual Studio in my Advanced UDK series. So you'll see here you have your end user license agreement, you can accept, reject, then it'll choose the uh, location of where you want it to be installed. I'm not going to install it at the moment. Uh, that's about all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. 
uh, comment, rate, like, subscribe. It's the last of the beginner series. I'm going to be doing an advanced series soon, so peace out and check back soon for more videos. Goodbye.